Hi, everybody. Um, I hope y'all can hear me okay. Uh, looks like everything is in place. Our guest is late, so I'm not sure if something happened or if she's just running a little behind schedule. So for now, you just have me to deal with. Um, can y'all hear me okay? I mean, is the sound good? The team up. Good. Okay, good. Um, I was moving some stuff around this morning. I want to make sure I had everything moved back in right. Uh, anyway, hi, Marby. Hi, Perrette. Um, sounds good. Yay. So I guess we're just going to kind of kick it around for a few minutes here. And hi, MK Karen. Wait and see if Joanne shows up. Um, I'm sure whatever happened, it something she couldn't help. So, you know, it happens to us sometimes. Um, get stuck out or last minute emergency or whatever the case may be. Um, hell, I was late to one of my own shows once for 30 minutes because of a doggy incident, like minutes before I was to go online and I had no way to contact. You know, I had to deal with it, with the doggy emergency and I didn't have time to email. And so fortunately, everyone, including my guest, patiently waited for me. <laughs> so <laughs> Anyhow, um, if for whatever reason Joanne is not able to show up, then we'll just play it by ear and we'll do some uh, do some quick readings and uh, and just chit chat. And um, I'm sure more people will show up, and hopefully she will get here fairly soon. Um, how is everyone doing? Is it hot as hell where you are, or is it just me? Because <laughs> we're melting down here. Um, it's unbelievably hot in Louisiana. Um, we've had 20-something 20, 20 days now of triple-digit temperatures every day with no rain. And that's before the heat index, which is humidity, is factored into the temperature. We've had triple digits, and it's it's never, ever been like that down here that I could, in the 60 plus years I have lived in the South, I've never felt heat like this. When I lived in Phoenix, yes, it was this hot and hotter, <laughs> except you didn't have humidity, so it was just dry heat. Here, it's like, it's just, it's so hot, it takes your breath away, and um yeah, it looks like we have a tropical depression forming out in the Gulf. So hopefully we're going to get a little cooler temps and some rain next week. Isn't that terrible when you're hoping a hurricane hits you just so you can cool off? Um, that's how. Uh, that's just how bad it is here. We have wildfires in Louisiana in the swamp. We have a wildfire going that they're trying to contain. Of all places, I was, I saw that on the news yesterday. I was like, I, I'm sorry, what, what universe am I in? <laughs> when did I flip universes? Because that ain't never happened before. Um, hi, Odelia. Hi, Carolyn. Welcome. Um, as I said, it looks like Joanne, either something happened or she's running a little late or she could be having technical issues. That happened to me the other day, just as we were about to go online. Boom, I had no sound, no nothing. Took my son like 10 minutes to figure out what went wrong. It was just a stupid wire had come loose. Go figure. So, um, 107, Marby. Yes, we have been between 101 and 107, just the temps for the past week. Um, and then with the heat index added in, which is the humidity levels added in, it's been between 115 and 120 down here. And like I said, that is unheard of. <laughs> I am, I mean, I'm literally when people, I've had people that I haven't talked to in a while have contacted me saying, are y'all okay down there? <laughs> I'm like, we're just dying a heat stroke. But other than that, yeah, we're good. Um, so like I said, it's not very often when you sit and wish 
or a hurricane to come to cool things off and and get some moisture. Um, <laughs> excuse me. So um, for all the new people that have just popped in, let me see who's here. Um, okay, Carolyn. I said hi to Carolyn. Um, I think you were the only newer person I saw jump in. Um, I don't know what happened with Joanne. I did resend her the link. So hopefully everything is okay. And um, we'll just play it by ear. It happens. <laughs> Life. What are you going to do, right? Just shit happens sometimes. So we'll just play it by ear. I know we had a bit of bad news this morning. Um, my uh, surrogate daughter um, that calls me mom as well. Uh, her dad passed away today. Of course, they'd been expecting it. He's been really sick, but it was still kind of a shocker. <laughs> it's like, I didn't think it would happen that fast. So, um, but, uh, so we're, we're dealing with that. Hi, Laurie. Welcome. And um, like I said, my guest hasn't shown up yet. Um, I'm sure there is a reasonable explanation Everything from tech problems to just plain old forgot about it to being stuck somewhere and not able to get home fast enough. I've had that happen too. Um, it happens. Like I said, life happens and we'll just deal with it. And um, in the meantime, since I'm going to be doing it solo today, that's cool. Um, If y'all would like me to draw a oracle card or two for you, just say the word. Hi, Loretta. And um, hi, Janet. And hopefully maybe Joanne will get here. And I won't have to do the whole thing solo. But if I do, stay la vie. I've done it by myself before. Not a whole lot. I usually have a guest. So it's a little weird because it's... It feels weird like I'm talking to myself, which that shouldn't be weird because I talk to myself all the time anyway. It's hereditary. My mother did it. My grandmother did it. My great-grandmother did it. <laughs> what can I say? Uh, we all talk to ourselves. So, um, Hi, Linda. Welcome. So, like I said, hopefully everybody say a little prayer. Hopefully Joanne is okay and there's no, um, like, major emergency or anything bad happened. I'm sure it's just a, you know, whatever. Cause I know just the other day I heard from her and she was like looking forward to it. So, uh, the only thing I can figure is something last minute happened and, uh, or maybe her internet went out. Our internet went out earlier today and I was like, Oh no, not today. I have a show today. <laughs> Internet cannot go out today. <laughs> so if I disappear from y'all, means the internet went out again. So um, anyhow, um, let's see. Uh, hi, Janet. And let's see. Let's go over here. Let me put it on comments. Okay, let's see. Marby would like one. Fatima would like one. And Laurie, where is spring? Where, what state is that? Linda, that was like one. And let's see. Scrolling up, making sure. Thank you, Fatima. I appreciate that. Uh, like I said, he 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 was. Uh, oh, Odelia's your younger sister. Oh, awesome. Um, he's been sick for a while. We've been kind of expecting it, and um, we got a message this morning that he had passed away this morning. So, um, you know, you you. You deal with it, and you just keep going. Okay, Spring, Texas. Okay, I know where that's at. I grew up in Beaumont. So, um, <laughs> or about half my life, I grew up in Beaumont. Um, let's see. 
Let's see. Da, 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 da. Okay, I got quite a few of you listed here. So let's let's get this show on the road. And all right. Okay, first up, Marby, you won the toss. Yes, please. I'm assuming that means that you want a Oracle card. So we will do that. Um, da -da 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 -da. Let's go with the Starseed Oracle. Trying something new. I set up a little side table here. It maybe a little bit easier to shuffle. But now I'm going to drop cards. That one must be for you. So we're going to put it aside. And then we're going to shuffle and draw one more. Because I do believe in a fair game here. Okay. Let's see. This is from the Starseed Oracle deck. Uh, let's see what we got. <coughs> okay, Marby. The first card, the one that jumped out of the deck, says, jump in. Go figure that one out, huh? It says, uh, Andromedan Energy Adventure. Say yes to change. That's the card that flew out, so it's telling you to jump. And then the other one is... Surrender to the Sweetness, and that's the card there. And it says, Venus Energy, Pleasure, Joy, Make Love to Life. Oh, that's a pleasant picture. That's a good way to be. And let's see here. All right. Well, I hope that resonated with you a little bit there. And um, thank you, Loretta. Yes, everybody hit the thumbs up. Hi, Anna. Welcome. Um, our guest is not here yet, so we don't know what happened. Just hoping everything's okay. Maybe she'll just be a little late. And uh, in the meantime, we're just going to go with it. Let's see. Next up, Fatima, an oracle card for you. Absolutely. All right, Fatima. I am feeling the divine abundance card for you. Let's see here. Oh, just to let y'all know, you'll be the first to know. Most people don't know yet. Next weekend is my second anniversary with my channel. I will be doing a party either Sunday or Monday. I don't know what day yet. I'm still working out some final details. But everybody's invited to come along pop in for a few minutes. Um, there's no telling who's going to show up. We're just going to wing it, but I've got a lot of new stuff coming up. Uh, some new things I'm really excited to tell everybody about. Um, new things that will be rolling out and being implemented in the month of September. And um, I can't really tell you any more than that. I'd ruin the surprise. We're going to have giveaways. So make sure you come and that way you can participate. And uh, I got all kinds of goodies that I ordered coming in so that um, I can give y'all some freebies. And that's always nice. I got you, Anna. All right. Let's see. Fatima. All right. That's the first one. Let's see. That's the second one. All right, the first card you got says delusion. Intention without surrender can be a fast path to delusion. This is very true. And the next card I drew was surrender. <laughs> I think Spirit's trying to give you a message here. It says sometimes learning to surrender can feel as if you're dying. The ego learns what's hardest to stop trying to control the whole universe. The ego learns what's hardest to stop is trying to control the whole universe. There we go. Read it in the right context, Sherry. So, delusion. To avoid delusion, you must surrender. 
And that can be very difficult for all of us because most of us are very set in our ways and kind of hard-headed. At least I know I am. And um, we want to do it our way, damn it. Just do it my way. Spirit doesn't always agree to that. Thank you, Janet. And let's see, who is next? Linda Ellison. All right, an oracle card. Linda, I'm feeling who work your light decks. I, there was a reason why I took out all these decks a while ago. I took them all out and thought, I don't need all those. Why did I get all those out? Oh, well. Let's see here. All right. A few shuffles. This feels weird with my face away from y'all. And I know I said one oracle card, but what the hell? Let's do two each, right? That's what we're doing so far. Okay. First up, you have answer the call. What is your soul calling you to do? Followed by trust your path. If you knew you would be supported, what would you do? We'll talk about two cards that go hand in glove together. That's awesome. First, you're being told to answer the call. You know what you're being called to do. Most of us feel it. We feel that pull. We just usually argue with spirit. We argue with ourselves. We argue with others who tell us, you know, you really should be doing X, Y, Z. No, we don't want to do that. And then so spirit just literally slams us in the face with it and says, bingo, <laughs> it's time for you to do it. So um, there you go. And hi, Sharon. All right. Let's see here. I hope that one resonated with you. And who's next? Loretta, you're next up. Will I ever hear from my son again? I heard yes in my ear. But I don't know how soon. Hi, Teresa. Let's see. I heard yes, but let's let's check with the cards and see what they say. Because I'm I feel very fortunate. My son lives with me. Um, of course, my brother lives with me too. <laughs> We're all just one big happy family. Um, it's actually amazingly has worked out. <laughs> Go figure that one out. Um, but it's nice. It's nice having a family right here under the same roof with me. It's nice to know that if something happens, if there's an emergency, there's somebody right here to help. All right. That's one. I know I'm not using the table. I set up the table so I wouldn't have to do this over the keyboard. And, uh, oh, my goodness. Okay, let's see what we got here. First I got was a maybe card, and that's the two. Oh, got so am I. And that's the two of swords. Difficult decisions ahead. So there may be difficult decisions for you or difficult decisions for him. I have a feeling it's going to be for both of you. Um, it's not easy to mend fences when it's gone for a long time without it being mended. It makes it harder. Then I pulled uh, the Page of Pentacles. 
This is a yes card. This is manifestation. So the page of pentacles, and it's not just in a financial manner, but you have to just keep manifesting it, manifesting and praying the spirit, you know, to open whatever doors, move whatever mountains need to be moved so that that relationship can get reestablished. And then I ended with the Ace of Swords. And this one simply says breakthrough, success, mental clarity. So I'm, I'm very positive. I got one maybe and two yes cards with this. So I say, I say yes. They're, um, it's going to happen. It just may take a little while longer. Um, hi, Sharon. And let's see. Bye, Janet. And let's see. You're welcome, Loretta. I'm glad that that resonated with you. Hi, Anna. Is it Anna or Anna? I never know which way to say it. I've had friends that say it both ways. So, um, like I said, we're still waiting for Joanne. I don't know what happened. I just hope that everything's okay. Nothing bad happened. Hopefully, it's just one of those things, you know, where you get held up. Um, let's see. Caroline. Okay. Yeah, you didn't leave, Caroline. No, uh, it wasn't you. Okay. You would love one. Let's see. I'm feeling this one. Okay. And then tomorrow is my day with Juno. She'll be here, so we'll be doing the Destiny cards, the uh, Jinsen Jutsu, and, um, and everything so that if you have any, if you have any um, ailments, aches, and pains, she can um, kind of point you in the right direction for some of the pressure point relief that you can get. Um, it's pretty amazing, I'm telling you. Um, all right, Miss Caroline, Carolyn, excuse me. Uh, armadillo spirit, set healthy boundaries. So whatever it is you're dealing with, you need to put up some boundaries, but make sure that they're healthy boundaries, that you're not... That you're not doing something that's in the long run going to hurt you. You want to make sure you set up reasonable boundaries. That's how I take it to me. And then, well, here you go. Dear spirit, bring a gentle touch. So whatever it is that you're setting boundaries on, make sure you do it with a gentle touch. And, um, and take it slow. You don't have to do major shifts all overnight okay you can take your time with it um <laughs> oh lori wow yeah sounds like you got a full house like me yeah it's it's me my brother my son my nephew two dogs and a cat until we got the cat i was the only person here that didn't that wasn't full of testosterone <laughs> i was surrounded and, uh, and then we found the cat, and she's a girl. So now I have another girl in the house, finally. All right, let's see. Odile, is Odelia, am I saying that correctly? Um, please let me know if I'm not pronouncing that correctly. Uh, let's see, make sure nothing popped up since my last look through I said it correct the first time Anna okay good and okay just wanted to make sure I didn't have any more requests or that I didn't miss anybody all right who am I Odelia I'm, I'm assuming I said that correct yeah Bettina said yes 
Cordelia. I like that name. Yeah, that's such a cool sounding. It's like Fatima. Your parents were really, really with it when it comes to naming their children, man. Wow. They came up with some good names. <laughs> Very unique names. I like that. Oh. I was named after a puppet. <laughs> or the puppeteer, actually. You would have to be my age or older to remember Sherry Lewis and Lamb Chop. It was like a little sock puppet that was a lamb, a lamb, and his name was Lamb Chop. And her name was Sherry Lewis, but she spelled it S-H-A-R-I, which is how my mother spelled it on me. And she just liked the way it looked. And so I got named after Lamb Chop. <laughs> what can I say? Maybe that's why I don't like eating lamb chops. <laughs> Something doesn't feel right there. Um, but I do like to eat pork. <laughs> Which probably isn't very good for me either, but you know, what the heck. From the looks of me, as y'all can tell, I like to eat all kinds of things that probably are not very good for me. At the rate I'm going, they'll be able to just roll me down the halls. So I'm almost as wide as I am tall. And that's not very tall. I'm only five feet tall, so I'm a little short person. Um, oh, Teresa, you remember Lamb Chop? Cool. All right, so does Carolyn. That's great. Uh, oh, and Anna remembers her, too. Hi, Miss Tara D. All right, Odelia. The first card I pulled for you is Liberation. And it says, the doubts and fears still come up. You don't believe anymore that they're you. I would say you don't have to believe anymore that those are you. Let those doubt and fears just go right out the window. Followed by karma, which says there's nothing from a past life that can't be addressed in the current life. And I will admit that most of our doubts and fears that we feel now stem from what came in the past, whether if it was this lifetime or a previous one. And karma just has to nudge us along a little bit and say, okay, it's time for you to get this lesson learned and let's move on. And that's what I feel like spirit is saying to you today is let go. Just let go and, and, and go with the flow. And everything's going to work out. All right. Let's see here. Perrette is next. Oh, God, I hope so. <laughs> I'm going to read on it, but I really hope so. Um, let's see. Let me make sure I didn't miss anybody wanting a card. And... Yes, Miss Tarot D, we are all gorgeous here, including you. And um, yeah, every time, well, now you know, every time you think of me, you think lamb chop. So there you go. <laughs> oh, yes, we are all telling our age, Teresa. Because <laughs> the younger kids are going to be like, what the hell is lamb chop? <laughs> what are they talking about? Um, hi, Mystic Empress Diane. Wow, that's a new name. Welcome. Hi, Ellen R. Welcome. Um, holy moly, who else did I miss? See, I start talking and I forget to look at the chat, y'all. Forgive me. And when you're by yourself, it's a lot. Um, yes, Ellen R., you can still make a request, my dear. I've only been here for 30 minutes. And we don't know. Maybe the guest will show up any minute. I don't know what happened. Hopefully she's okay. That's all I'm, that's all that matters to me. In the meantime, we're just winging it. Hey, what happens, happens, right? So if y'all want a card drawn, say the word. If you want me to answer a question, say the word. Um, yes, Miss Terrell D, that's what we were talking about. I was named after the puppeteer, Sherry Lewis she spelled her name the same way my name is spelled, which I hated when I was a kid because 
you know, late 60s, 70s, the jewelry with your name on it was very popular. And nobody had Sherry spelled S-H-A-R-I. Nowhere. You could get 50 different spellings for Sherry, but not the way my name was spelled. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Okay, that's Perrette that I'm getting ready to read for. And... Yes, a lamb chop the puppet. And let's see. All right, I want to make sure I haven't missed anybody. Y'all pardon me a minute as I kind of scroll back up because chat just jumped. So <laughs> it's like, oh, hang on. Um, okay. Let's see here. Da, 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 da. You're welcome, Odelia. I'm glad that resonated with you. Hi, Phyllis. Welcome. I'm sorry our guest is not here today. I don't know what happened. I'm hoping she's okay. Um, I'm sure it was just something unforeseen that came up. It happens. Life. What are you going to do, right? So we're just going to make lemonade out of lemons and press on forward. Uh, gotcha, Ellen. Okay. And hi, Belinda. And if anyone else would like a card, okay, I think I got everybody. If anybody else would like an Oracle call card pull, just say the word. Okay. Who am I doing here? Perrette. Perrette, Perrette, Perrette. I'm feeling work. I'm feeling starchy. That's what it is. Okay. All right. I even put down this cloth thinking it would help. And my cards keep getting stuck on it. All right. This ain't doing it. We're going to have to go back over here. And hi, Kelly. Welcome. And shoot. All right. Let's see what we got. Okay, Perrette. The first card I pulled is the Seas of Mintaka, as you can see here. I can sure use a beachfront right about now with water. Seeing potential, bringing unconsciousness to light. That's pretty cool. And then I pulled perspective. See, that's us right there, that little blue dot. None of this matters. Zoom out. It's all common ground. How true is that? We are all just people trying to live our lives, take care of our families, be happy. Don't worry, be happy. Sorry, I couldn't help myself. Um, perspective. The more you, the more you pull out, the more you realize just how alike we all are. We may be different colors, different shapes, different sizes, different genders, different nationalities, whatever the case may be. We're all still human. So we're all still the same. Um, even for the ETs that live among us, they've chosen to live like humans. So in that respect, they're human too, just like us. And hopefully they can help us not blow ourselves up. <laughs> but anyway, I find this, I find this very hopeful for at seeing potential and then perspective. Wow. That's, that's awesome. I like that. Okay. I hope that you're welcome. Okay. Who is next? Anna, you're next. An Oracle card, please. Gotcha, Phyllis. All right. Phyllis, 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 Phyllis. Let me just, okay. See, there is a reason why I took all these cards out. Normally, I only take like one, maybe two decks out. 
because I don't want to overwhelm the guests. <laughs> it was something today it was like, nope, nope, we need that one too. Because see, they're all over here. You can't really see. I don't know. Maybe we can do this. <laughs> all my cards. Um, and then some. Um, and so before I get down, sit down, get ready to read, I literally just kind of stand there and look at all of them. And I'm like, okay, whose turn is it? <laughs> and they'll let me know which one to take. So um, sometimes in the middle of a reading, I have to stop and go get another deck because suddenly they'll be like, nope, this isn't it. <laughs> you need, you need the other one. So I go back and get another deck. You know, in the beginning, that really bothered me because I felt like I wasn't, felt like I was failing because I didn't pull the right deck out in the beginning. And it took me a while to realize, no, it, it, it all goes by the energy. And the energy may have been this way when you started, but now it's this way. You got to roll with it, right? That's been a hard lesson for me to learn as I as I do this more and more is learning to just kind of just kind of roll with it. What happens, happens. No sense getting upset. No sense getting pissed. Doesn't do any good. Um, all right. The first one I pulled for you, and now my eyes are going to tear up. Imrama. I guess I'm saying that right. Hopefully so. Or I'm Rama. I'm not sure which one. It says, where are you being called to journey to? Ooh. Do you have a trip in your future? Anna. Anna. I'm sorry. I'll get it right. I promise. <laughs> and then the next card I pulled, boundaries. And it says, where do you need to establish better boundaries? Okay. That, yeah, that works. Because it's, where are you being called to go? You need to... You need to listen to that so that you can go and do what it is you're being called to go and do. But at the same time, you need to set up those boundaries for your own protection as well as for others. Because you don't want to, you don't want to do something that's going to disrupt your life or disrupt someone else's life because you charge in like a bull in a china shop, right? That that doesn't do anybody any good. Sometimes you have to take it slow, you know, kind of one step at a time. Um, anyway, uh, I hope that uh, I hope that resonated with you. All right, Miss Ellen, you are next. I request a general reading. Okay. And making sure. Hi, Kelly. I sure can. I know. Aren't those colors pretty, Lori? I, I, that's one of the things I love about Oracle cards is the artwork. And a lot of times that's why I choose the decks I choose when I buy them. It's because it's the artwork that just really has spoken to me. And um, all right, all right, Ellen, hang on. I'm just making sure I didn't miss anybody. Um, let's see. And okay. And I got your other question, Loretta. Let's see. Kelly, did I read yours? I didn't read yours yet, huh? No, I don't think so. Okay. If I did, just say so. <laughs> I don't. Oh, I did read for you. Okay. Or did I? No. I just pulled you. Okay. Whatever. We'll go with it. Go with the flow. What happens, happens. All right, Ellen. 
I am feeling animal spirit oracles. This is a cool deck, too. I really like this one. Then I like animals a lot, so that's probably why. You know. All right, just to let y'all know, I've got in the batter's box waiting to come up uh, Phyllis, Kelly, and Loretta. If I missed you, please say something so that I can star you. Thank you, Janet. Yeah, I emailed her earlier and I resent her the link thinking, well, maybe she misplaced the link. I mean, I've done that um, more times than I care to admit. Um, yeah, so I'm not sure. Well, hopefully she makes it over here. That would be nice. If not, we'll just reschedule for another time. Um. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't do my stuff on Facebook. I don't have I'm not set up. I'd have to just go in and reset it up. I just haven't done it. I figure one one chat's enough for me right now. Maybe eventually I'll progress to the point that I can handle more than one chat room. Y'all would really watch my head spin, wouldn't you? See me trying to keep up with all of that. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, okay. The first one I pulled for you, Ellen, is Antelope Spirit. Light is speeding up. And then I pulled White Raven Spirit. Trust in the magic. So as your life is speeding up, as things are coming at you, things are changing, things are going, you're do, 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 do. We all live that kind of life nowadays. Just trust in the magic and let it all happen. That's the biggest thing. It's one of the lessons I've had to learn I'm, that I'm still learning. It's just go with the flow, trust in the magic. Just, just let it. Just let it flow. And, um, oh, thank you, Caroline. That Carol, I keep wanting to say Caroline. It's Carolyn. <clears throat> I'm sorry about that. It's one of my co-workers. Her daughter's name is Caroline. <laughs> I tend to say it that way now. Uh, okay, Phyllis. Just a general energy. All right, we can do that. Thank you, Janet. Thank you for coming. Um, have yourself a lovely weekend. If you can't come back tomorrow, Juno will be in the house. So, um, all right, Phyllis, I am feeling divine abundance for you. Let's see what that has to say. You're welcome, Ellen. All right. One, two. Let's see what we got. Ooh. <laughs> wow, these really do go together. The first one I pulled is grounded. As many of the most evolved beings on earth are regular folks living with joy, dignity, and courage. This is very true. And it's those ordinary folks that do extraordinary things every single day. And aren't we all the better for it? And then I pulled letting go. It says everything is indeed out of control. And God will hold it all. I can safely let go. So whatever your personal deity is, God, Yahweh, Jesus, Jehovah, Buddha, you know, what, whatever. Um, trust in where your faith lies. 
get yourself grounded and then just let it go and go with it. And they're going to take care of the rest. And my goodness, I have certainly seen that happen in my life many, many, many times when things happen. And I think to myself, how are we ever going to get through this? And just things just happen. And it's, it's really amazing. So I hope that resonated with you, Phyllis. Um, well, your stepdaughter is Caroline. <laughs> That's cool. Then you're used to getting it both ways. So, um, Okay, Kelly, you're next. I'd like a card pull. How can I focus or direct interaction with spirit, intuition, guides? Yeah, I, I, I hear you on that, Kelly. I am... I am very, <clears throat> my mediumship skills have just started waking up. And I know Sun Psychic Gene describes it as like a flap. Like she opens a flap, the information comes in, she shuts the flap when she's had enough. I'm like, okay, I've got a flap that's either wide open or sealed tight because <laughs> I have no control over it. She just laughs as it takes time. Don't worry about it. So, it takes time. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Um, but yeah, I guess, and, and I have a hard time meditating because my brain won't shut off. Like my mouth, it tends to run 24-7 nonstop. Diarrhea of the mouth, diarrhea of the brain. It just goes, goes, goes. Um, part of the OCD, I guess. Yeah, I'm constantly going. So I've started doing little like two to three minute meditations when I get a free few minutes to just kind of sit down and not have to interact with anything. And I'll take that two to three minutes to just kind of unplug and just sit. And I have found that I generally will get a download when I do that, but in little bite-sized portions. I mean, some people get these huge downloads. It takes them all night, you know, and then they're 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 drained the next day. And I'm like, okay, I I gotta get up and go to work in the morning. Let's not do that, okay? Um, so so far they've been very cooperative with me most of the time. Um, like I said, I. Uh, when it happens, it's miraculous to me because it just, the information is just coming. It's like, I just know things. Sometimes I literally hear a voice in my head saying whatever it is I'm supposed to say. Um, I actually channeled George Washington once. Blew my mind. And then it was like, he's got a British accent, which was like a double blow. It was like, and then I thought about it, and I thought, well, of course he would have a British accent. He came over from England. They all had British accents back then. I, there was no American accent at that point in time. Um, if any of them came back today, they would probably think, what the hell are these people saying? I don't understand them. Um, there you go, Loretta. So you get what I'm saying. Um Okay, Kelly, let's do some shuffling here. Oh, good, Phyllis. I'm glad that that, I'm glad that that resonated with you. And um, sometimes I worry that my mouth just runs and, because most of the time when I'm reading, I couldn't tell you five minutes later what I just said. I am, it's gone. It's like they just, yes. Kelly, if my hands are busy, then I can sit and focus a little bit longer than a minute or two. But I have to be doing something with my hands. And most people don't understand it, but I usually have to have music or something playing in the background. They're like, well, how can you meditate with noise? I'm like, no, it's not noise. It's, it's, it's because I know that there's music playing. I'm expecting to hear music, so I tune it out. It's when I sit in absolute silence that I notice every little sound because I don't know what to expect. I don't know what that sound is. And so, 
Okay, I'm weird, I know. Of course, my family's been telling me that for years, but what do they know, right? And, uh... Oh, okay, Carolyn, you got a, your husband's English. <laughs> I bet that's something. Okay, let's see what we got. First up, boundaries again. Boy, spirit is really pushing this message today. You're like the fourth person that's gotten a boundaries card. Um, where do you need to establish better boundaries? So maybe that's something you need to meditate on. It's just, and just ask them specifically, what is it that I need to, you know, what kind of boundaries do you need me to set? And, and then just wait and see what they tell you. Soul family. Call in your tribe. You don't have to do it alone. Maybe that's what the boundaries are all about. If you, if you readjust your boundaries, it's a lot easier for your soul family to be there with you. At least that's what I'm feeling off of this. This I love this card, especially with the dolphins and all that in the background. I love dolphins. I love anything in the beach. Just I'm a beach bum. Um, if I was rich, <laughs> I would live on the beach 24-7. Of course, I'd probably be complaining about it being too damn hot or a storm coming, but what are you going to do? I still love the beach. So work on your boundaries and open your heart to your soul family coming in because they just, they're there. They're just waiting for you. Squirrel, yes, you got it. <laughs> you got it. Absolutely, Kelly. Squirrel, that's me. Um so funny somebody was saying something one day at work and someone else said squirrel and they're like what are you talking about i didn't get off track and they're like no squirrel behind you in the grass it's like oh my god a real squirrel <laughs> that was kind of cool that day um let's see all right um oh well good kelly i'm i'm glad that you're a water dog yeah there you go Oh, uh, wow, Caroline, 27 years ago, I went on holiday and came back with Peter. Hot damn, that's pretty cool, man. Well, I met my husband. We would have just had our 40th anniversary on July 31st. Would have been our 40th anniversary. Um, He passed away in 2001. Um just a few months before 9-11. I'm glad he, I'm glad he was gone before that happened because I don't, I don't think he could have, he could have stood it. Hi, Gerald. Um, I don't know what happened to Joanne. She didn't show up. She hasn't responded to any emails. I resent her the link a couple of times thinking maybe she just misplaced the link because God knows I've done that a hundred times. Um, and I don't know what happened. I'm just hoping she's okay. You know, maybe she just got the days wrong or the times wrong or whatever. It happens. There might've been an emergency. It happens. So we're winging it today. If you want a card, put it in. I'll draw a card for you. And um, I've only got Loretta and that's it. Loretta's my last one. So I can do one more card after Loretta. Um, yeah, that's that's what I'm I'm saying to uh, Gerald that, you know, it's because I know I heard from her just the other day. She was like, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. And so um yeah, you want to pop in? We can run this out a little bit longer. Hang on, wait. Let me put the link in the chat. And you can jump in and say hey to everybody. Come on aboard. <laughs> Hi, Jean. 
I just put the link in the chat, Gene. Hop in. <laughs> Gerald's coming too. Hey, we're going to have a party now. All right. Okay, Loretta, in the meantime, let me draw your cards while they get a minute to come in and, uh, and say hello. And we'll just hang out for a little bit longer and see what happens. Who knows? <laughs> Oh, y'all been listening to me run my mouth for an hour by myself, so and y'all still here? Okay. <laughs> and now I got backup coming, so that's pretty cool. I'm just hoping that everything was okay with Joanne and that, you know, nothing nothing bad happens. I'm hoping just some stupid little something or other and it happens. Oh, thank you, Sharon. Look at that. She's already putting people's, people's stuff in there. Oh, thank you, Carolyn. I love y'all, too. I really do. And there's the man right there. Hello. And this lovely lady. Look here. It's a party. <laughs> it's time for a party. All right. Let's see. Let me finish my read on Loretta, and we can start fresh. Um, all right, Loretta. Change. It says, when the ego finally sees the utter madness of trying to control everything, you come to a sacred crossword, crossroads in your own evolution. How true is that? And then I pull Sanctity. Through offering even the most mundane problem, through offering even the most mundane problem can become a sacrament. That is so very true. Look at that. I was by myself and now I've got these two beautiful people who just popped in and said, Hey, we're here. <laughs> and can both of you hear me okay? Yes, ma'am. Okay, yes. good. Because my just want to make sure my audio is okay. <laughs> Um, I just finished my last reading for the day and I turned on the YouTube and there you were. And I heard, Ger I saw Gerald saying that. And I'm like, well, I'm available if you're Gerald. <laughs> well, yeah, Gerald so said it all in like a minute before you popped in and said, hey, I'm here. <laughs> so this is Sun Psychic Gene and Sherry voices from the swamp. Like and subscribe, everybody. All the cool and kids. And this is so Gerald Tarot Stash. <laughs> I, I, I have that in here somewhere. I know. I was wondering how you pulled that out of your hat so fast. <laughs> uh, Gene, oh my goodness! He, you, he I actually have them in my index cards. Order. Oh my gosh, that is amazing! I love this. I'm I'm an organization freak too. I mean, not that you're a freak, but you know, I I love organization like that too. Yeah, I'm OCD too. <laughs> well, it just makes it easier, especially it when you're in a flow and it's like, okay, I can do this. I can do this. And then that way I don't have to worry about finding it. So that's, it. I know me too. It takes a lot of anxiety out of it. If you have it where you, where you put it last, right? Yes. For me, it does too. Wow. So, well, and Jean, if you were to back up like 15 minutes, <laughs> I was talking about you. <laughs> Oh, you were. <laughs> Your ears must have been burning. I was doing a reading, and I don't even remember now who I was reading on and what I said, but it was something about uh, trying to control the information coming in. And I said, yeah, Jean calls it a flap. And then we started talking about it. And I'm like, I still don't have control of my flap yet. <laughs> she's like, It's like a muscle. That. It's like a muscle where you can you can open it yeah. up and, and then close it. It's a muscle. And is if you do it every day, it's that muscle is a little bit easier to to uh, jump over to the other side and to come back. Um, but otherwise, it's like it's 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 just like lifting a heavy weight. But then once you lift the weight enough, it becomes easier and easier. Um, yeah. That's cool. 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 Well, so I'm glad y'all popped in. What you want to do? <laughs> are we reading from Mother's Tarot, a message from um, your guides? Oh, actually, I just read four. But if you want to add something, I'm sure she won't mind. <laughs> um, I think just about everybody in chat's asked for a card that I've read for. So if y'all would like a new reading from Jean and Gerald, I love the chat. And Mother's Tarot's name is? 
Loretta. Loretta, okay. Ah, and she's a lucky lady tonight for sure. Absolutely, getting getting three for the price of one. They're telling me tarot is in your blood. It's almost like, um, you know, yeah, it's in your blood for sure. I, I feel as though you've had tarot, you've read tarot in past lives, and um, you've always been a seer and a, uh, you know, a fortune teller, for lack of a better term, uh, in past lives. That's what they would be known as, you know, either a seer or a fortune teller or a a clairvoyant of some sort, but you've um, always worked with uh, your intuition and you've carried this lifetime after a lifetime. And um, they're saying that you really, that you really want to do more with this, that you, um, you love doing it and you know that you can help so many people. It comes from your desire to help others and uh, um, it's important, like, it's almost like if you want to, there's some sort of a, a fair or a market or a, um, a place in your neighborhood that you can attend or even start a group. Uh, yeah, but, and they're also telling me that you can also teach classes. You can have, um, you can teach a small group. Like almost like uh, having a protege, like having two or three younger people uh, around you and teaching them what you know. You don't have to teach them about uh, everything about tarot. Just teach them what you know, what you do. But it's important for you to pass along that information. Interesting, Loretta. Wow. Well, and Loretta was just on with me, was it a couple of weeks ago? Um, and she does the Galactic Heritage Cards. Oh. And while, while we were doing that, I was remarking on how much I like these cards. Somebody watched the video the day after and then emailed me and said, I have these cards and they don't resonate with me. I'd like to send them to you, please. That was uh, um, Chris MK or Chris, Chris K, something like that. Right. Anyway, and so she sent them to me and I got them. I'm like, wow. So. Loretta and I are getting ready to get together again so she can teach me how to use them. Nice. Excellent. A little different. <laughs> so this is Loretta, correct? Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. All right. I mean, give me five minutes and I can get tarot sachet for you if you want. <laughs> this is, I'm, I'm going to resonate, what Jean said resonates a lot with me because um, I, I got the five of wands for you. You are really um, tapping into this natural gift, natural tendency, this, this ability. And I love how this person is on the hand and the, the, the wands are coming out. So this is, this is really to your nature. Um, they, they, they want you to remember to, to pace yourself. Because if you haven't been doing this for a while, it can get exhausting. And, uh, and, and so, so take some time to rest. And, and by that means, I mean, you don't have to be emotionally moving all of the time. Sometimes it's okay to, actually, it's not just okay. They're insisting that you meditate a little bit. So then suddenly you can see when the new thing is going to show up. <clears throat> I got a second three, which is the three of pentacles, which is the card of, it's a card of mastery. It's also a card of being solid in what you're doing. So you have a heritage connection to this. And um, they are also suggesting, <clears throat> they're also suggesting that you set really clear boundaries for what's good for you, what is important. And um, and it, it, it helps you have that confidence. It's going to help you grow and expand within with, in a rate that you can manage. There goes that boundary. This is like the fifth person that got boundary cards tonight, today. So... So I've got yeah. five people that I've drawn on already all had boundary cards come up. 
It's like, yeah. wow. But it's really, it's, it's a lot of fun. And, and actually in the four cards that I pulled, all four of the elements are there, all four suits. So this oh. is like Jean said, I mean, here, thank <laughs> you for showing up and enjoying it. I mean, have fun with it because as long as you are enjoying it, it's going to flow easier. It's work, but it's joyful work. So. Yes. She, she also Absolutely. says um, that she was a gypsy in her past life and that she's uh, bringing yeah. her granddaughter into doing this. Yeah, that was that's really important that you pass this along and that you know that 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 sense that you have that you were a gypsy in your past life is is for real and it's not just one lifetime. You've been carrying this with you for many lifetimes and you mm -hmm. feel this deeply. You feel this, it's almost like you can work the cards without the cards. Like, um, but yeah, you can, you, you, you definitely, you definitely have it and you have uh, such a wisdom about it. There's like this, uh, this timeless wisdom. Beautiful, Loretta. It's uh, is it also, Gene, are you getting a sense of ancestors are willing to show up and, and provide assistance for Loretta? Is that part of, I mean, because I'm seeing access to information and support, you know, yeah. they're, they're it's, ready to share. It's, it's, um, it's her past life as well as in her own family DNA lineage. Yeah. So it's both ways it's handed down. So that. you you definitely have the gift, you definitely have the blessings, and it's important for you to pass it on, which you are doing. That's really that's wonderful, and to have all four suits in the reading, that's re really really very well balanced. Yeah, and um, you're here on this earth for at this time for a reason. Wow. Yes, and and they're low, and she's the sweetest lady in the world. It, Oh yeah, she really and, and they're they're low. So you're just beginning this journey. It's beautiful. Because I have a two, two threes, and a four, so glorious. Wow. Just the numerology in that alone is good, so. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see. Pirette, would like a card, please? Hi, Pirette. Yeah, do you know I, I actually used um, tarot cards live on YouTube for the first time the other night? <laughs> was, that with, um, was that with Heather? It was, oh, it was with uh, Ginger. Ginger, Ginger, oh, Ginger Bay, yeah, <laughs> that's wonderful. Yeah, let's see where did they go? Oh, they're here. Okay, um, I can do these too. And I did Terry Suzuki, and I did um, Ascended Master cards, but that's not the same thing. But, <laughs> cool. Okay. So, if anybody wants a second reading, or if you just came in and you're brand new, and you're like, oh, there's different faces here now. <laughs> you want to read it, say the words. PRN, oh. I have the Ten of Pentacles. Ooh, I wow. really like this card in general. Ooh, I do. This, this is a card about the importance of generational uh, teaching and respect. And uh, as we look at, these are all elephants. And one of the things that I learned recently is elephants are a matriarchal group. And when, when, um, when an elephant goes into uh, menopause, she gets elevated to be the top and everyone shows her respect. So this for me, for uh, Pierrette, I'm what I'm saying is there's a beauty about the, um, the generation and the group of people that you have around you. They are supportive, they're caring, they have long memories. And this is so very much a card of tradition. And so as you are, as you are working, uh, pay attention to what has, what you've done before and know when to adjust it. You know, it's important to understand the why of which something is done. I, I, I really like this card, it's really beautiful. And it, it is. I like elephants. Yeah. So thank you, Pierrette. Uh, so I don't know. Is Shell is her name, and she's the medicine woman. And I did have the 
And the saying on it is, you are a channel for divine healing power, <coughs> which she is. So this is, and mm. how would you say that? I-X-C-H-E-L. And she's wow. the medicine woman. Well, that's who you know. It's I, I don't know if it's pronounced with a Z, E shell. Shell is how I um, feel it. But okay. I um, so I think this looks like you too, Pierrette. I think that you have ancient uh, healing uh, knowledge within you and you can connect to the other side, to the uh, mm -hmm. powers, uh, to the energies uh in the in the universe that you can call in and you do this you do call in you do communicate you do um have um information coming in from them about healing and they want you they want you to use this on yourself as well they say you're a giver you're a provider you always uh do for others and they just want you to make sure that you do this for yourself it's almost like the the uh uh, you know, the oxygen mask in the plane kind of a scenario. They want you to make sure that you fill your cup first before you take care of somebody else. Yeah, absolutely. That's great. All right. Next up, we've got Marby. Me, please. <clears throat> I was just doing Oracle cards. I was doing two cards per person. So y'all do whatever kind of reading you want to do for just a general we should have that your choice your choice reading <laughs> oh that's fun <laughs> whatever floats your boat <laughs> yeah it's yeah i know i've asked for people for readings before and just said dealer's choice whatever you feel like pulling you know oracle tarot i don't care just you yeah, know Right. That's, that's, so I, I pulled Sekhmet and it says, be strong. You are stronger than you think you are. And your strength, uh, assures a happy outcome. I think this is why I don't do cards. I can't read the small print. It's Sekhmet and she's saying, be strong. Look how beautiful she is, Marby. That is gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And do you see the, the, I'm really drawn to the sun above her head, and that is your uh, spiritual connection and your abilities to develop your intuition and your um, your spiritual connection. And that dress is purple on her, isn't it? Miss Tarot did fire for it. <laughs> it is. How beautiful is she? Sekhmet, be strong. And she's a, a, it, sitting in a place of power there, Marby. So if there is a, a situation where you're feeling powerless uh, or, you know, uh, that somebody is maybe uh, abusing or not abusing, but taking your power from you or, uh, or taking advantage of you. This is or, of your kindness of some sort. They're saying take your power back and be strong and use that intuition that you have. And, and I'm going to piggyback right on that, Jean. I have the magician. Ooh. So you be strong. And that does include you realizing the power that you have and the power that you are willing to create. And um, Sekhmet, is, uh, Sekhmet is, is pretty dang awesome. And I, I would not want to cross someone who is channeling Sekhmet. Um, but this, and, and this card, what is great about it is, is the magician, all of the tools that are available to a magician are in the trees, um, and around. So they're available. You do have to reach out and do something in order to get them. Mm. So it's not, it's not going to be handed to you. You are, you need to do something and find it. You need to go on that, that adventure, take that journey in order to, to receive these beautiful gifts that are available. And I also think this magician is looking down when all of the tools are above. So don't, don't, um, don't put the blinders on because you're going to miss these incredible gifts. 
So there you go. Thank you, Marvin. I went ahead and pulled another one as well, even though I already read for you earlier. This is from the universe has your back. Jack. And it just says instead of praying for an outcome, pray for the highest good for all. Oh. I really like that. That's that's nice. That's a that's a nice thing. That's All really right. nice, Marby. Let's see here. Carolyn would like a card, please. Or a general read, whichever you're drawn to. I've read for the only person that's on the list that I've not read for yet is Pam. So then I thought, y'all are having all the fun. <laughs> so, Carolyn, I'm getting um, Siege, S-I-G-E. Uh, and the message on the card, I'll show it to you in a moment, Is says quiet time. And it says, take some quiet time alone to rest, meditate, and contemplate. So I'm not sure if you have uh, a lot going on and you uh, just need to take a moment and, and have some quiet time. But this is what she's saying. She's saying quiet time to meditate, to rest, meditate, and contemplate. Uh, yes, because you've been through a lot. This is the five of swords. You've been through a lot. So in order to regain your strength and to be able to move forward, pause long enough, collect your thoughts. This is also a um, pause before opening your mouth card. Don't be and, like Sherry. Oh, <laughs> I didn't say that. Sherry did. No, but I did. <laughs> um, but, so, Carolyn, you know, as you as you've been going through some things, pause, and then this card also jumped out, which is the Three of Cups, and and this is a card of find your tribe, find the people like minds, shared ideas, the people who support you and love you, just exactly the way they are, and they are going to celebrate when you are your most authentic self because then everyone benefits. So that's great, Carolyn. Absolutely. Scott that Allen's in the Scott. house. Scott <laughs> Allen's in the house. <laughs> Who went fishing and got no fish. Oh. So I just want to point out one I'm little Ryan. thing to you, Carolyn. I'm not sure if you can see like the green aura around this woman. And this is the restorative healing energy that I feel will come to you once you have this quiet time and this resting and contemplation. I feel uh, you, you may be concerned that if you rest too much, you'll never be able to get back to what you were doing. And I feel as though this is going to be very healing and restorative to you. So uh, don't be afraid to take that extra nap in the afternoon if you need it. Yeah. And Carolyn, I went ahead and pulled a universe card for you. And it says, in every moment, the universe is conspiring to bring you toward right-minded thinking and the energy of love. And that's true for all of us. Mm -hmm. Miss Mims is so, uh, so true. She says, I always gain in learning from the readings for others. Yes. That is so true. I, I, I gain from the readings that I give and I hear as well. It's, it's really remarkable information. May 3 on that. We just did, Marby. We just did, Marby. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Yeah. I was just watching. You must have been Marby. on there twice. Okay. Pam K. That's who we got. Hi, Pam K. That's a, that's a new name for me. So, welcome. Oh, hi, Pam. And welcome. did you get, did you get um, Scott Allen's? Uh, I've got, uh, no, I didn't see Scott it out. I got. At 7.20 um, p.m. Okay, I've got Pam, and I've got, oh, and you said Scott had one. Yeah, it's 7.20. 7.20. Oh, 
Carolyn says, I'm working on listening to my guides and bringing in what they want. I've been working on it, getting better health. Thank you so much. Wow. Mm. Good for you, Carolyn. Wow. Okay, so we're working on pulling a card for Pam. Focusing Pam and on then Scott. That's what we got. Oh my gosh. You know, I don't know why they make these names so difficult to pronounce. <laughs> Unog, uh, easy does it. There's no need to hurry or force things to happen. Everything uh, is occurring in perfect timing. So this is Unog, right? Easy does it. No need to force it. Everything is coming in perfect timing, Pam. Ever, trust the universe. Trust in the per, in the divine timing. That is so beautiful. Mm -hmm. And who was it that says you don't? Oh, I think it's Mark the Spirit Whisperer says you can't push a river uphill. You, you got to go with the flow. Yes, I have uh, Pam K. I have the King of Cups for you. Which is re there's there's a level of uh, confidence in how you are feeling about things. You're able to master your emotions in a way of knowing how to share and how to demonstrate your emotions. I think this is uh, this is very helpful, unless of course you're having trouble with this, and then you could be a bit standoffish and not sharing anything. Uh, it, it more feels like you are, you're happy about who you are and that makes it easier for people to interact with you because you're comfortable and then they are feeling comfortable to you. I'm also wondering, Pam, if you are having some, some young ones asking for help, if you've got someone at work that you're mentoring, you're training. I don't know if you're being a tutor or something like that, but this is the page of wands and it's it's learning new stuff or maybe they're teaching you something. So pay attention to that. So. Yeah, so I Kelly offered, a, oh, go ahead. Uh, I pulled a Lemur, Lem, Lemuria. Lemuria. Lemuria, I guess I'm saying that correctly, is creating heaven on earth. It's oh. happening. Wow. And then the universe card says the moment you realign with love, clear direction is presented to you. Nice. So true. Well, I was just going to say that Kelly uh, corrected my per pronuncia pronunciation and said it's Una because it's Celtic, which makes a lot more sense. It's mm -hmm. Una. Oh, Easy okay. does it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like how your card has similar color, or my card has similar colors to yours. Mm -hmm. Whose card is better? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm yours. just playing with you. <laughs> <laughs> yours, of course, Jean. That's <laughs> Una. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to fight with, game. <laughs> you know, I'm not going to do that. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, you don't want to yeah. take on a Celtic goddess, man. <laughs> she could no. do you some harm. Yeah. All right. And now we got Scott. Da, 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 da. Oh. Uh, where did you go, Scott? I hit the wrong button. Hang on. Well, we all know he's here, who he is, but there we go. Okay. I got you back. They went to click and chat jumped. I hate it when that happens. Mm. <laughs> Let's see if I can pull an angel card. All right. Good. Let's check out. Got out a new deck for you, Scott. Angel cards by Kyle Gray. Um, I love this, and I don't get a chance to use it much. So I think I may have just picked those up. It's called right. Angel Prayers. Okay. He has that, a couple is that of Oracle them. cards. Because I just yeah. got a deck that's Angel Tarot cards. No, different different person. Mine's from Rodley. 
Radley, whatever. Oh, yes. Wow. Like, Wow, this looks like you, Scott. It says, shine your light, Archangel Uriel. Thank you, Uriel, for helping me to shine, to share my light with the world. Of course, absolutely. Look at that, Scott. Wow. That's what we all see when, when, when we see you, Scott. Mm. There you are. Archangel Uriel. Shine absolutely. your light. That's beautiful. Yeah, keep doing what you're doing, Scott. You got you got what it takes there. So Scott. It, was Scott, it was Scott two years ago, this coming week when I hit my anniversary, who got me actually up and going with my channel when he found out that um, a hurricane was coming. Um, he was a guest on Sheila Angel Feathers' channel. And I was in the chat and Sheila saw me. She asked me, oh, are you in the hurricane's path? And I said, well, right now we are, but it could move. We don't know. I think I'm going to do a vlog and post it every day. And Scott was like, oh, you have a channel? <laughs> he says, oh, yeah, everybody right now, stop what you're doing and go, go subscribe on Sherry's channel. I went into the show with two subscribers. By the end of the show, I had 40 subscribers. So... Scott was instrumental in getting me over that first hump of a few people. <laughs> me too. Literally... When I first started my channel, he came on and like a thousand of his subscribers came with him. I was like, oh my gosh, I never saw so many people here at once. He's uh, he's very generous and, and uh, such a big help to everyone in the community. Absolutely. I haven't had the pleasure of reading with Scott at this point. So, okay. Oh, Scott. we got to remedy that. <laughs> um, I'm going to give you the the uh, abridged version of this, and then I'm going to go in into it. The project that you're working on is going to be extremely successful, and you need to tend to it appropriately. That being said, I have the chariot for you, Scott. So an important thing about this is, is what I appreciate about these two horses is... Uh, um, they're appreciating each other. The charioteer is the one who has to keep them focused to help them move forward. So, and, and use that energy and that camaraderie to help move the idea forward. I have the 10 of cups. So what you're working on is going to be very powerful. And um, the, it's... Um, I don't know if this is extraterrestrial or, or whatever, but there's this sense of, uh, of um, like a spiral of uh, uh, pushing out of energy and so, and helping people to do that. So, um, so uh, again, a very satisfied, uh, satisfying card. And then I have the queen of pentacles and this Queen of Pentacles, she knows the appropriate time to do things. Uh, she also knows how to, um, oh, uh, she's confident. She is in rhythm. She's not fighting things. And um, you, you know that. You know that. You know there's the time for the let's slow down. Let's, you know, let's work together. Let's really get spiraled out and really connected in ways that we didn't understand. And you get to watch it and make sure that it all works out well. So, thank you. Ooh. Absolutely. All right. From the Starseed Oracle. I pulled Child of the Cosmos. It says the intelligence of the universe lies within you. That's very true, Scott. God did an acoustic reading on me as well. It was just mind blowing. Um, and then I also pulled the blue flame. And it says spontaneous awakening, activation, integration time. You still have work to do. A lot of work to do. So I also um, I also pulled the bottom of the deck energy, and it's the ten of swords. I don't know if you've been having acupuncture or something like that, uh, but it 
the worst of it's over. Worst of it's over. And that shape right here is in the 10 of cups <gasps> right there. So that connection, letting stuff go is really powerful. But I'm same colors too. Yeah. I always I'm I'm curious about this. It's, it's just that um it's 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 like an acupuncture card. It's like, okay, you're doing some things, you know, for entertainment purposes only, whatever. Thank you, Pam. So oh good. Absolutely. Okay. Trust the body um or energies to slow. Yes, great. Beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, that's Scott's it. definitely an ambassador, a galactic ambassador here on Earth, uh, trying to fight the good fight for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, he's he's uh, transmuting those galactic codes coming in and uh, grounding them for us. That's, he's he's working hard for all of us. And he's he also just put something in. So after Gerald finishes his thought, maybe we can squeeze in one more person. He, he... whatever you say. He, he also, um, Gene, um, gets the environment ready so others can f receive that information. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think that may be that radiating out the Ten of Cups. And it makes it okay. I'll, I'll stop talking. They've activated something in me and I will... You know, as, <laughs> as I like to yeah. say, you know, I'll just get on my soapbox and then I'll keep talking, but I'm not going to... I have another show uh, idea for you, uh, Gerald, and we could do like, this is your life and uh, do a reading on all the content providers on each of the, con like have Scott come Ooh. on and, and all, all of us give readings to him. <laughs> that could be fun. Oh my god, That gosh. could be a lot of fun. <laughs> yes. Almost oh like a roast. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Groundwork. Yeah. I need acupuncture, but my softball season ended. I need healing time. Yeah. That's good. And yes, yeah, take, we're family. Most definitely. Take care of that human vessel you're in there, Scott. Yeah. Travels at night. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. So, V Perez. Um, let me see. We just, I don't know V. Um, I don't either. I don't I don't either. This is the first time I've seen the name. Oh, wow. So it's a brand new person for all of us. Welcome. This is exciting. <laughs> okay. She's saying her name is Vicki and she says she's going to Ireland in two weeks. Do you have any info to help me make it a magical trip? Wow. Ireland. Wow. I think you're going to be seeing some of those uh, little gnomes, little, uh, little nymphs and uh, fairies over there. Uh, if you keep your eyes open, um, I think it's a very magical place. And if you allow yourself to drop the, um, your, um, like those, um, just the boundaries or drop, do you drop something, you drop your analytical mind and allow your imagination to, uh, to assist you, you can see these, you can see these magical creatures and you'll also have magical things happen. Uh, like you'll be upgraded in a, in a better room or they'll accidentally send a breakfast to your room or you know, you'll know you be chosen to be the one to have the demonstration on if somebody is is says, may I have a volunteer? Like it, seem, it seems like there's magical things that are gonna happen for you. As long as you open up and drop your, uh, almost like if you have any concerns or worries or fears, if you just let them all go, trust the universe and say, I'm, I'm open to having so much fun. Um, that, that would definitely, I, I can definitely see you having magical, magical time there. How about, how about you? I, I got, um, this is, this is the two of cups and it's the card about, um, becoming part of and enjoying others company. I don't know if you're going by yourself or you're going with the tour group, enjoy the people around you, get into the, um, get into the flow of the environment, feel the ground, get a sense of what emotions are around. So I think it's really powerful. I'm also feeling this is the queen of wands. So 
be be expectant to have magic come to you. And guess what? It will. This is the Ace of Wands. So expect magic to happen, which means, of course, responsibly say yes. Follow your intuition. Enjoy it. And um, I'm a firm believer is, is um, don't be afraid to share a little bit of you with the environment around you because it's it's a give and take. I hope V I or v, I hope that makes some sense. So and it makes so with what y'all both said makes sense with what I pulled. So I went ahead and used my angel tarot deck. It's like, okay, I guess I pulled it out for a reason. That was for Vicky here. First one I pulled was Page of Earth. There's your little fairy gene. Mm-hmm. Wow. It's gonna show up. It says dependable, patient, successful. Uh doing something more challenging, a new area of study. So um, that's pretty cool. And then I pulled the wheel, Archangel Michael. And it says a time of positive change, a situation suddenly moves forward. Fortune is on your side, followed by the four of fire, which says contentment, peace, and abundance, a happy home life, the successful completion of a project. So you're going to have a very magical. I'm also I'm also getting the nudge to mention if you are in an environment to where you can um, light some candles as an offering, definitely do it because we have two candles right here, and it just feels like if you are in in a place of worship. You know, you don't have to believe um, what it is. You just have to, it, it's an opportunity for you to participate. And um, it goes back to what, you, you know, what Gene was saying, be willing to do it, be willing to have a good time um, and be part of it. Oh, yeah. So. I'm so jealous. I've always wanted to go to Ireland. <laughs> yeah, the light is the light is the light, uh, Vicki. And um, she did say that they're scheduled to visit a fairy glen, a fairy's mm -hmm. glen. Mm -hmm. And what Gerald said, like if, you know, there's a lot of Catholic churches there, but if you go in and light two candles in a Catholic church, the light is the light is the light. No matter wh what, whose house you're in, the light is the light. And that will also assist you. And uh, that's beautiful. Good, yeah. good for Absolutely. you, Vicki. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Just come Very back nice. and tell us how it, how it went. Really, we want a full report when you get back. <laughs> You're going to spend an hour just breaking down every day what you did, what you saw, what you experienced. Oh, wouldn't that be fun? In it. <laughs> that would be oh. fun. So, Sherry, well, you must have dinner on. <laughs> um, I haven't even thought that far ahead yet. <laughs> <laughs> I started this at five o'clock, so um, yeah. Oh wow! I'm I'm starting to droop. <laughs> yeah, I'm so glad that I caught you. And and when Gerald said that somebody not show up, and I'm like, hey, I just finished a reading. I can come on. Isn't well, both of you were like, like I said, within a minute, both of you were like, hey, I can come on. I'm like, here's a link. Come on in, because I knew it would liven it up somewhat. And uh, everybody was probably tired of hearing me talk anyway. And. Uh, <laughs> And I will be going in after the show and making adjustments and putting their links in and everything for y'all. So make sure that you go and like, subscribe, and share oh, to Gene and to Gerald. And it's very thank kind. you both thank very you. much. And next weekend is my big weekend, my second anniversary for my channel. And I'm going to be doing a party either oh. Sunday or Monday night. I don't know yet which day is going to work. I'm still working out details. Um, Sherry can throw Gene's the best parties. Go. <laughs> there you go. So, uh, and I'm going to have uh, some new stuff I'm going to be rolling out for y'all that's going to be taking place in September. Ooh. And I'm going to be doing some giveaways. I got some goodies that we can do giveaways with. And so you have to show up. So your name goes on the wheel and it gets spun and Maybe you'll win something. You never know. And um, 
any way. We'll have a good time. If nothing that else. That sounds like so much fun, Sherry. You have the greatest ideas for sure. Oh, thank you. And I'm I'm be shooting out an email in the next couple of days as soon as I can nail myself down and go, okay, <laughs> you gotta pick a day and a time. I keep changing what I want to do. So of course. And I'm off on the Monday. So it's like, okay, well, I could do it Sunday night and stay up late. You know. Because <laughs> I don't have to get up at five on Monday. So yeah. Well, thank y'all very much for coming and joining me tonight. I really appreciate it. And I have a lot of fun too with it. So yes. um thank y'all very, very much. And um so you have you have the best chatters here, Sherry. I really appreciate absolutely. you allowing me to jump in and uh, crash the party. And Gerald, I, it's it's just so much fun. You never know. And I, it was it was it was just uh, synchronistic, it was, wasn't it? I, it was I was sure it is. Yeah, that's it. Um, like I said, I was here. We just kind of shooting the poop all for an hour, and then <laughs> boom, no part of. I was like, oh boy, now we can have fun. Well, <laughs> We'll, we'll make sure and come on earlier next time. There you <laughs> go. Well, thanks for well, having me. I'll be back me. tomorrow afternoon yeah. with Juno. Uh, Sunday afternoon, 4.30 Central. Uh, Juno and I do our Fortunes and Flows show. Beautiful. And so that's the Destiny cards and the um, uh, the Jin Jin Jujutsu or something of that. Effect. I can never get it out of my mouth, right? Uh, it's all pressure point. Like if you have a toothache, there's yeah. a pressure point you can push on and make it go away. And it's great, you know, with headaches and all kinds of stuff, and um, which is really cool. And um, yeah, we just have a good time. All right, and Sunday every other Sunday. So um, tomorrow's yeah. our day. Yeah. All right. I will see y'all then. Thank you. Thank you very much for joining. Thank all of y'all for hanging with me so long. Yes. Especially for those of you who have been here since the very beginning. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Applause for you. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Y'all take care. We'll see you soon. Bye, Bye. for now. Bye, everybody.